Hi guys, I wanted to do a pink thistle tutorial for you today. So for this one, all you will need is three colors of paint and your watercolor paper if you have it and a pencil. You will want to grab a kind of cooler pink, a dark red and green. I prefer a warm green for this one. So to get started, I am just gonna do a quick thistle sketch for you and you can follow along with me. I will make mine darker, um, but you can make yours as light as you want. So we just want to get the basic shapes down and the kind of the base shape is almost like an upside down or like a light bulb shape and then you have these great petals that fan out from the top. So all I'm trying to do is get some sketches on paper here where I see the petals coming up and how wide they come out. But I don't really want to sketch everything in. I just want to get a basic sketch down. So once I have the shape I like, I want to mix up some of that cool pink and get it really nice and thin. And I am using a round, a small round shaped brush. It's kind of got this nice sharp tip. So you're going to want something with a nice sharp kind of tip like that. So we're going to mix up our paint so that it's a nice thin kind of pale, almost like the consistency of tea. And we're just going to take this pink and using the very fine tip of our brush, just kind of going over the entire top of the flower, create those petal shapes. And this is the very beginning phase. It's, it's what I always say, you're making a roadmap of color. So we're just kind of laying down where we want those petals to go. And while you have all that lovely watery paint on your paper, you want to mix up a little bit of the red in with your pink so that it's a little bit thicker. And just start adding some shadow to the underneath part of the petals. So you only want to kind of touch that dark color in down, down underneath here. You don't need a ton of it. Just laying in a little bit of shadow. So once you have that finished, you will want to get a little bit of the green on a clean brush and mix it with water so that it's a thinner consistency again, almost like tea. And using kind of a short, sharper, sharper um, shape, you want to start to create the texture of the base of the flower. And I like to have the kind of pokey shapes kind of opening up off the side a little bit too, to have that texture. And while you have that lovely thin kind of tea stain, you just want to add the stem and the leaves as well. And thistle leaves are really fun and kind of pokey, they kind of flop down. So they're fun to paint. And just add as many as you like. And when you're done with those, um, while you have that paint wet on the base, just mix up a little bit of a darker green. So you'll want it to be almost the consistency of whole milk now. And you just want to add the dark. Again, your dark's going to be underneath and kind of at the base. So we just want to kind of mimicking that sort of texture just want to add that in at the bottom and up at the base as well. And I always like to add a little bit of that dark to the sides as well. And you 
can see you're already starting to get some nice shading on your painting. And I like to leave a little bit of light and kind of creates that nice rounded shape. So I want to go up and add a little more dark and drama up, up top here. So I will mix up some of that dark red with a little bit of green, not much green, just a little bit. And if you did it right, it should kind of look like a plum color. If you added too much green, it's fine. Just rinse your brush and make sure you have most of mostly red on your brush with just a touch of green. And this is going to be your dramatic dark, so you don't want a lot of it. Just want to add a few pretty brush strokes down at the bottom here. And then to finish your petals, we're just going to mix up that really beautiful, cool pink. We're going for the consistency of about whole milk here. So it's a going to be a little more vibrant. And using the very sharp tip of your brush, just kind of feathery strokes. You just want to add in the tops of these petals where they would kind of come down and meet the shadow. And I always like to add a few kind of crazies off the side because it feels a little more realistic. Then. So now to finish, I want to add a little more drama to the leaves. So I'll mix up kind of a thicker green and just add a few kind of touches of drama down to the leaves so that it kind of matches what's happening up top as well. And you can even go in with your with very thick paint almost paint all paint and no water and add a few little tiny details at this point. Now's a good time for that. But you can see that the thistle is actually a lot of fun to paint. There's so many textures um, and with very few colors and just a little bit of time, you can get a final product that looks very realistic and really pretty. And once you have practiced all the shapes, you can do them in purple, you can do them in very pale pink um, or clusters of them as well. And um, so you can just really have fun with this one.